What's it really look like in outer space? I'm John Deere, and today I'm curious about outer space. What's it look like for real when you're out there? Mankind has sent over 540 people into outer space. If you add up all the days that people have been in space, it adds up to more than 77 years. And all those astronauts and cosmonauts and spationauts have come back and they've told us what it's like to actually be in outer space. Here's what we've learned. These are some of the fantastic images of space we're used to seeing. They come from a variety of telescopes, some of them even orbiting in space. Stunning nebulae, skies filled with galaxies, and great gas clouds stretching for hundreds of millions of light years. They're amazing, but none of them looks anything like what we'd actually see if we were up there. Most of these spectacular images come from black and white digital cameras mounted on the telescopes, shot through filters that allow in light from different important wavelengths, sometimes focusing on elements like hydrogen, oxygen, and sulfur, sometimes focusing on energy wavelengths like x-ray and infrared. Each filter is assigned a color and the images are combined into a single stunning photograph. The same galaxy imaged in two different wavelengths looks completely different. All of these images contain important information about what lies out there, but they have nothing to do with what space looks like to the human eye. This is the Hubble Ultra Deep Field image, one of the most famous images in astrophotography. It shows roughly 10,000 galaxies in a tiny little speck of the sky. To make these images, the Hubble telescope collected light for more than 130 hours to make extremely faint objects, much dimmer than the human eye could ever detect, appear bright and clear. Even at that, it could not see most of these objects in the visible spectrum. It used infrared and ultraviolet, two spectrums that are invisible to the human eye. If you look at that part of the sky, even from space, you would see mostly darkness. So what does space actually look like to the human eye? Is it a blanket of stars or is it darkness with a few pinpoints of light or is it something in between? This is footage of International Space Station astronauts on a spacewalk taken with a GoPro. This fantastic footage shows them at work spinning 249 miles above the Earth. Some of the shots face towards the Earth and some out into space. If you look out into space, you see nothing but darkness. These are images tweeted by astronaut Karen Nyberg from the International Space Station. She says they reflect what she actually saw out the window. Only the brightest objects are visible to the eye. That's because the human eye cannot see both very bright objects and very dim objects at the same time. This stunning image is from astronaut Scott Kelly, who spent a year on the International Space Station. As in the others, light from the sun reflecting off the Earth, the moon, or maybe even the space station itself, makes it impossible to see the blanket of stars around us. But there's one time astronauts had a very different view. When Apollo 11 reached the moon, astronauts Neil Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin descended to the surface, leaving astronaut Michael Collins in the orbiter above. Collins reported that each time he swung around the dark side of the moon, Light from the Earth and Sun were blotted out. The moon became the blackest of blacks, blacker than anything he had seen on Earth. And in the other direction, an infinite blanket of stars. Collins had a perfect view of the Milky Way, a view unlike anything on Earth. The amazing fecundity of stars was clear and on display in all its magnificence. More recently, the International Space Station has proven to be an excellent platform to view space. Astronauts have taken thousands of images using pocket cameras, DSLRs, and anything they're allowed to take on board. If you want to know what space really looks like from space, this is the ultimate guide.
The stars are remote pinpoints of light unimaginably far away. Yet humanity's great curiosity and sense of adventure keeps us wondering, exploring, examining, and trying to reach beyond our little home and out into the great cosmos. Until next time, I'm John Deere celebrating you and your curious mind.